Hey guys, my name is Benny Schmid. I'm a Gibbon Slacklines athlete and today I want to show you how I set up my trick line. Yeah, so I will rig my line with one pole from the other side and one anchor that I put in here, which is pretty, pretty strong. And to get the proper height for my line, I built a little A-frame that will be here later. I will just prepare both anchors now. This. Yeah, I like to trick line at the height of my face. That I think is a, it's a good height for me to do all the tricks I want to do. Make sure to completely close all your shackles. And this, the backup line we will attach later. Okay, then we'll prepare our second anchor. Very simple. I got this through. The line to the loop. Pull it tight. At the shackle. So in my case, it's actually pretty nice because the ratchet is very close to the ground and I will have it very easy later to ratchet so it's always important when you rig your trick line to um, make sure that in the end you have a nice position to uh, like get a lot of power with your ratchet next is roll out your webbing I do the this technique so to connect the webbing with the ratchet you put it through the thing as you know and then I always leave just a little bit um, webbing uh, out so I don't roll in two webbings I just roll in one webbing when I ratchet like I ratchet the line till it's like one circle inside and then it's kind of like locked and it can't go anywhere if I put tension on it and then we go to the other side make sure there's no twist in the line so I chose the Nippon line today because the Nippon line is the line with the most stretch so it's the, the hardest to actually um, tension it and but I want to show you that it's anyway possible with the two power ratchets from Gibbon Slack lines so yeah, let's just do it at the second angle we do the same we put it through but then we pull the whole line through till it's tight. And then if you use an A-frame, you can already start tensioning without the A-frame. Because then you have more pre-tension actually. Then later on you can just put it on the A-frame and then the light is already pretty tight and you don't have to put so much webbing into the ratchet. But if you don't have an A-frame, then it's just important that you really pre-tension a lot and if you have friends with you everyone should help to pre-tension the line <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I won't help <laughs> Axel's not gonna help because he's filming so pre-tension means you just pull all the slack out of the line as hard as you can and then Close it. This can be a bit annoying, so what I do, the end of the line, you don't want it to be like just um, flattering around. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just probably bullshit. With the end of the webbing, that it's not like get caught, so that it doesn't get caught by the ratchet here, I just pull it out this way and put it through the shackle here just like that so it always goes nicely into the ratchet here a problem that you probably will have is that the line gets gets eaten up by the ratchet on one side you see like here is more space you can actually do like that here is more space than here and we want to we want the line to go into the ratchet uh, centered so we have the sling while I tension I pull to the side and then the line becomes straight. 
We just keep tensioning and just make sure always to do these things. In the beginning, it's still kind of like easy to get the line in centered, but the more you tension, uh, the harder it will be to use the force of your arm to put the line centered. Like that, so I can step into it. Now do the same thing again. If you have the problem that the ratchet is not go uh, that the line is not going in like very straight, so I put this here, put my foot in here, put pressure, and then. Then in my case, I have um, uh, my anchor on the one side uh, is on a higher level than on the other side because we have this little podest here. So I only need a very small A-frame, but uh, it's exactly the A-frame, so the line is perfect height for me later. Then I build a kind of even ground, so the A-frame is not like wobbling around like crazy. So I need a little, a little something put it under, so it's like even. Put it like that. That should be pretty. Should be pretty good. If you have an A-frame and then the ratchet behind the A-frame, you have to make, you have to pay attention that the A-frame doesn't fall. Because if you pull the line to this direction, it will pull also the A-frame to this direction, and you have to push it back a little bit. Always. Having a good trick line is uh, sometimes pretty hard because you have to like know all these tiny little tips. So now I. I'm alone and uh, I pull the ratchet to the side basically with my with my left leg, put my weight over so I can tension. <clears throat> if you have a lot of tension on your line already, you want to get it more tight, you need to re really make sure that you, are, you really use your whole body to tension the ratchet. It doesn't really work if you just do like this, if your biceps it doesn't work, you have to really like straight arms and then throw your whole body back and use your whole momentum to crank the ratchet. If you realize, okay, the line is super tight already, then you just have to go on the line and uh, bounce a little bit to get the stretch out a little bit, then you tension again usually. Before you go onto the line, make sure your backup is uh, is there. What I do is I do a little knot here, a simple one. So what you could do, you could just do like simple knots to finish your back up, but uh, I wouldn't recommend that because if like for some reason this tail is very short and the line starts shaking and everything, this knot can easily open up and uh, so it's not very recommendable. So what I do, uh, instead we do the re-threatened overhand knot. It's like one loop like that. Go through here, the knot here. Then we go through the ratchet. And follow. the string that is already there and pull it tight and then you're safe and uh, one very important thing always before you go on the line make sure the ratchets are both closed properly it means this pin this pin when you close it must lock properly here inside here and it must lock properly here behind this one <laughs> yeah and of course the other side we back it up also and then if everything sits very well you're ready to trick line <laughs> 